of the renewal of your mind moving forward. In the area of in your relationships, in the area of intimacy, okay, being intimate in your relationships. And I was going to just call a spade a spade. Thank you, Jesus. Intimacy is a lot deeper than just sex, my friends. Okay? Intimacy has actually got a lot more to do with listening than it has to do with physical touch. Oh, Jesus, we need to nail here. Oh, he's listening now. You see, when you start talking about sex, people just start listening. All of a sudden, people you talk about sex, talk about money, people start listening. <laughs> All right? But in the area of intimacy, I want you to consider this. Intimacy within your relationships will begin to dwindle when listening stops. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Did you guys hear that? This is very important. The following is going to help your marriages moving forward in your relationship. And your relationship with God, because the same applies with Him too. Remember, prayer, when you pray, and it goes both ways. There's a time to speak and there's a time to listen. <laughs> there's a time to talk and a time to be quiet. So that you can hear what the reply is and what the answer is. Right? So, in your area of intimacy, intimacy begins to do this. Meaning it's going backwards, it's going down. When listening stops. So what's the point, will you? Be quick to listen. Slow to speak. And slow to become angry. Oh, but that's stuff. I'm not supposed to do that. No, God gave us the tools already. <laughs> you know what's amazing about God? It's like, let's say there's a whiteboard here and whatnot. And God's like, I want you to draw a picture. And you're like, but I don't have the pen. Okay, God, here's the pen. Please draw the picture. Meaning that He empowers us with the tools that we need in order to fulfill the life that He's actually called us to fulfill. It would be unjust of God to ask us to do something which He Himself has not empowered us to do. 